Welcome YouTubers to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In this video, there's going to be 15 practice test questions involving decimals that should closely mirror what you should expect to see in the mathematics knowledge, as well as the arithmetic reasoning subtest of both the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB, as well as the pre-screening internet delivered computer adaptive test, that is the PICAD. More specifically, you should expect to see anywhere from two to five questions involving decimals on the actual ASVAB and PICAT. Of course, you're not permitted to use a calculator or a reference sheet on that test. And likewise, in order to get the most from this video, you'll want to pause the video after I read a practice test question, attempt to solve it on your own, and then resume playing the video to check your solution. Finally, I quickly want to mention this. Please stop paying for tutoring or access to online boot camps. The reality is the vast majority of you are more than smart enough to pass this very simple test as long as you spend a few days to months studying for it. Uh, likewise, many of the online resources have been nothing more than a copy of the free resources that are currently out there, including a lot of my free resources. Instead, here's what I'd recommend you do. Uh, if you need help reviewing the core concepts such as decimals that show up frequently on the test, uh, find the playlist section of my channel, and there you'll see I have reviews for every concept that does frequently appear on the test. Likewise, I have a playlist called a Math Bootcamp Playlist. It's nothing more than a collection of practice test questions for the ASVAB and PICAT. So if you want to just work on practice test questions, I would recommend working in my Math Bootcamp Playlist. And finally, I have more than 500 free shorts videos that will help you sharpen your mental math for this test. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. For this arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT, it says that postage costs 22 cents for the first ounce and 17 cents for each additional ounce. What is the cost of postage for a letter weighing three ounces? So again, it costs 22 cents for the first ounce. We have a package that weighs three ounces, so it's gonna be 17, 17. Again, first ounce, second ounce, third ounce, all we have to do is add this up. 7 and 7 is 14, 15, 16, carry a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to cost 56 cents, which is B, uh, to mail this uh, letter. This arithmetic reasoning practice test question says a company announced that 40% of those enrolled in its training program will be sent to a new plant. If there are 60 people enrolled in the training program, how many will be sent to the new plant? So we got to figure out what 40% of 60 is, in other words, we're going to take 60, we're going to multiply it by 0.4, which is the de decimal equivalent of 40%. You could also multiply uh, 60 by two fifths if you like working with fractions. In this case, it makes much more sense just to do this simple math right here. Again, shift our decimal one time to the right. This becomes 60 times 4, albeit with one decimal to move back into the left when we're done. 0 times 4 is 0, 6 times 4 is 24. Move that decimal back in. So the answer is D, 24 people are going to be sent to the new plant. This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says this. If a package of corn chips weighs 1.2 ounces, what is the weight in ounces of 48 packages? So we're going to do 48 times 1.2. This is testing your ability to do multiplication involving a whole number in a decimal. So we're going to shift that decimal one place to the right to make this 48 times 12, albeit with one decimal to move back into the left at the end when we're done. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry a 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Add a 0 placeholder. 8 times 1 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. Add these together now. Uh, 6, 17. Carry a 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Bring that decimal one place in. So you can see that this is 57.6 which is answer choice A. This ASVAB PICAT arithmetic reasoning practice test question says a company announced that 30% of its staff members who work at plant A will be laid off. If 60 people currently work at plant A, how many people will be laid off? So for this one, we have to figure out what 30% of 60 is. And there's a few ways you can do it. You can multiply 60 by three over 10 if you like working with fractions. That said, I'm just going to multiply 60 by 0.3, which is the decimal equivalent of 30%. Again, just move this decimal place one place to the right 
This becomes 60 times 3, albeit with one decimal to move back in at the end when we're done. You could do this one mentally. This is 0, this is 18. Move our decimal back in. 18 people are going to be laid off from plant A. As Fab Piket Arithmetic Reasoning Practice Test Question, we're trying to calculate how much it's going to cost to purchase this stereo using an installment plan. So the first thing we have to do is multiply 2250 by 15. Move this decimal two places to the right to make this 2250 with no decimals times 15. That's our amount of monthly payments, albeit with two decimals to move back into the end when we're done. 0, 25, carry a 2, 10, 12, carry a 1. Uh, that's going to be 11 out of 0 placeholder. That's 0. 5, 2, 2. Let's add this up. 0, 5, 7, 3, 3. Bring our two decimals back in. 1, 2. So our monthly payments uh, go to 337.50, but we have a down payment of $35 to add to this. So we're going to be adding some decimals here. 0, 5, drop our decimal down in place. This is 12, carry a 1, 6, 7, 3. So in total, the payments and the down payment add up to 372.50. As Fab Piket Arithmetic Reasoning Practice Test question, we know that someone's monthly mortgage payment of 1250 is increasing by 6.5%, which is 0 0.065 in decimal form. We have to shift our decimal three places to the right so we can do uh, 1250 times 65, albeit with three decimal places to move back into our answer. This is 0 0.25 carry a 2, 12 carry a 1. 6, this is 0, 0, 30, carry a 3, 12, 15, carry a 1, 6, 7, let's add this all up now, this is 0, 5, 2, 11, carry a 1, 8, bring our three decimals back in, so we can see their 1250 payment increased by uh, 81, 25, let's add this up very quickly, this is 5, 2, 1, uh, 13, carry a 1, 3, one. So it's going to be D13, uh, 3125. This question says our furniture store pays $1,800 per month to rent its retail space. This January, the building owner raised the rent by 4.5%. What is its new rent per month? So let's do 1,800 times 0 0.045, which is the decimal equivalent of 4.5%. Let's move this decimal one, two, three times to the right. So this becomes 1,800 times 45. Once I do this math, I'm going to move the decimals I moved to the right here. I'm going to move them back into the left. Uh, this is 5 times 0. 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 8 times 5 is 40, so bring down a 0, carry a 4. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9, bring a 0 placeholder. 4 times 0, 0, 4 times 0, 8 times 4 is 32, carry a 3. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, let's add this, 0, 0, 0, 11, carry a 1, uh, 8. Bring our three decimals back in, one, two, three. So we can see that the rent increased $81. Of course, we have to add that to 1800, which you should know is 1881, which is B. As Fab Piket Arithmetic Reasoning Practice Test question, we're trying to figure out what a 3.7% increase is in 1550 rent per month. So to get started, we're gonna multiply 1550 by 0 0.037, which is 3.7% as a decimal. Move this decimal place three times to the right to make this 1550 times 37, albeit with three decimals to move back into the left. Zero times seven is zero. This is 35, carry a three, that's 38, carry a three, that's 10. We have to add a zero placeholder. Three times zero is zero. Three times five is 15, carry a one, 16, carry a one, that's four. Let's add this all up. This is zero, five, 13, carry a one, seven, five. Bring in our three decimals, one, two, three. Let's add this to 1550. So that's going to be 57, 34. Five, so this adds up to 35, drop down our decimal seven. That's 10, carry a one, six, one. So this is D160735. This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says a child is two and a half feet tall. The child's mother is twice as tall as the child. How tall is the child's mother? So since this is an easy question, I'm going to solve it three ways. So first of all, you should be able to solve this one mentally. Two and a half times two is going to be five, five feet tall. That said, if it's testing, you're a little bit nervous. You could do 2.5 times two, move our decimal one time to the right. This becomes 25 times two, albeit with one decimal to remove. Five times two is 10, carry one. Two times two is four plus one is five. Bring that decimal back in. So we got our five feet that way. You could also do two and a half times 2. Of course, this is going to require you to convert this to an improper fraction. 
2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is 5 over 2 times 2 over 1, which is 10 over 2 or 5. So no matter which way you decided to solve this one, you arrive at the same answer. And of course, all these methods take more or less the same amount of time. As Fab Pike had arithmetic reasoning practice test question says, Renee went shopping with $100 and returned home with only $18.42. How much money did she spend? So for this one, we're going to take $100, and I'm going to write a decimal with uh, two zeros to represent the change there. And from that, we're going to subtract $18.42, of course. To do 0 minus 2, I have to borrow from the left. I can't borrow from this 0, this 1, or this 1. I have to come all the way over here. This becomes 0. This becomes 10. And now I'm going to have to work my way all the way back to the right. This becomes 9. This becomes 10. This becomes 9. This becomes 10, and finally, this becomes 9, and this becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. Drop down our decimal in place. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 1 is 8, and 0 minus nothing is nothing. So she spent 81.58, which is answer choice. This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says this. 13 over 4 equals which of the following decimals? So... This improper fraction tells you what to do. Uh, improper fractions can be read as follows. 13 divided by 4. Now all we have to do is work this out to get our answer. 4 goes into 13 3 times without going over. 4 times 3 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. To continue doing this long division, we're going to add a couple of zero placeholders as well as a decimal. Bring that decimal into our answer. Drop down one of our zero placeholders. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. 10 minus 8 is going to be 2. Drop down our 0 placeholder. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. Can't do any more, so we know our answer is 3.25D. Math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says if x plus 5 cents equals 83 cents, then x equals. So for this one, we're solving an equation, albeit with decimals. I'm going to go ahead and write it down like this. And you don't have to include that zero in front of the decimal if you don't want to. Uh, as we would when we solve equations, we're just going to get x equal to something by itself. So in other words, we're going to subtract uh, 5 cents from both sides. This crosses out, leaving you with just x on this side. And we can see x is equal to 83 cents minus 5 cents. If you can't do this mentally, do it off to the side like I am. 3 minus 5, we can't do. So we have to borrow from this 8. Uh, this becomes a 7. This becomes 13. 13 minus 5 is going to be 8, of course. 7 minus uh, 0 is just 7. So x in this case is 78 cents which is answer choice B. Again, the ASVAB is a computer adaptive test. So in the beginning of the test, you will see questions that are as simple as this one. For this ASVAB PyCat arithmetic reasoning practice test question, we're trying to figure out what percent of this show is a commercial. Again, there's four one and one quarter minute long commercials during a 60 minute show. If we add this up, that is if we add our singles, we get four minutes. If we add the one quarters, we get four over four, which is one minute. So in other words, five of the 60 minutes are commercials. Let's divide this by a common factor of 5. This reduces to 1 12th. So we got to express this as a percent. To do that, we're going to do long division here. 12 does not go into 1, so add a decimal there. Bring the decimal into your answer. Again, you can put a 0 there if you want. 12 does not go into 10. Put another 0 there and add a 0 placeholder. 12 goes into 100 8 times without going over, given that 12 times 8 is 96. This is 4. Again, we have a 0 that we can drop down. This is 40. 12 times 3 is 36. And just like that, we know our answer. It's 0.083, which is the same thing as about 8.3%. This very easy ASVAB PyCat arithmetic reasoning practice test question says, a student bought a sandwich for 75 cents, milk for 20 cents, and pie for 40 cents. How much did the meal cost? So for this one, we're just adding these up. Of course, we're going to write 75 cents in decimal form as 0 0.75. We're going to write uh, 20 cents in decimal form as 0 0.20 and 40 cents as 0 0.40. Now we can go ahead and add these up. 5 plus nothing is 5. Again, you can drop down your decimal in place whenever you want. 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 4 is 13. Drop down a 3, carry a 1. 1 plus nothing is 1. So this meal cost $1.35D.
ASVAB PICAD Arithmetic Reasoning Practice Test Question. We're first going to do 26 divided by 8 to get the min's hourly rate. 8 times 3 is 24. 26 minus 24 is 2. Again, move the decimal into our answer and then drop down one of these zeros. 8 times 2 is 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. Drop down this zero. This is 5. 40 with no remainder. So he makes 325 an hour. Multiply this by how many hours he works, notably 37. Move the decimal place here two times to the right to make this 325 times 37, albeit with two decimals to move into our answer. Uh, this is 35 carry a 3, 14, 17 carry a 1. That's going to be 21, 22 out of zero placeholder. 15 carry a 1, 6, 7. Uh, and then that is 9. Let's add this up now. This is 5, 12, carry a 1, 10, carry a 1, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bring in our two decimals. So this one is A, 1. Konnichiwa.